And here we're dealing with how, how, does, how does Christianity relate to culture, fallen culture? Because you can't overturn culture overnight. This institution is dehumanizing, but you can't just wave a magical wand and make it go away. No, the gospel has to change people's hearts, which eventually changes the culture. So how do you negotiate that? Christ and culture can get very messy. In the book of Acts, the church commissioned Paul and Barnabas to go out and preach the gospel together as a team. And Barnabas, his name means son of encouragement, so he's always encouraging others. So he wants to bring his cousin, this, 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 this newbie named Mark. And so Mark tags along. Paul wasn't in, uh, uh, in favor of it, but he put up with it. But Mark became a burden. He, just, he was slowing them down. And so Paul, Paul says, enough of this. You've got to cut him loose because uh, the, the mission is more important than this. And Barnabas couldn't do it. No, he's my cousin. Come on. Work with him here. He, he'll be okay. And they split over this. Now, the Holy Spirit had commissioned them to go out as a team. But they split. We sometimes have this idea that the early church was like, oh, so wonderful and harmonious and, and splendid and, 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 and problem-free, and all the problems came later on. Folks, the New Testament deals with people, and people are problems. People have always been problems. Uh, that didn't start recently. No, it's always been this way. And so we have in the New Testament problems, fights, splits. That, that it goes on there. Uh, but apparently they worked it through, it reconciled, and Mark matured. So here Paul is recommending Mark to this congregation. Now, I mentioned all that to say this. If you're thinking platonically, you would have thought these people would have been above these little spats. Uh, that these spats are trivial. Come on, let's look at the grandness of God in the universe, the bigness of God, the glory of God in the heavenly realms of, of all harmony and beauty and consciousness or whatever. But see, that's platonic thinking, New Testament thinking.